kindergartners. I hope you've seen this picture. If you have not yet, I wanted to show it to you. Here's your teachers. Of course, your teachers are way up at the top. Mrs. Prem, Mrs. Hofer, Mrs. Kaiser, and they're spelling out we miss you and love you. We miss you and love you. And the teachers came together to wanted to let you know that and made this picture for you. Wasn't that nice? We do miss you and we do love you and we look forward to the day when we're able to all be back together. But right now I'm glad that you are watching um, me here so we can keep doing music class. I'm glad you're still at listening to your moms and your dads or your grandmas or whoever it is that's helping you with your school and that you are learning. Thank you. I'm thankful that Mrs. Prem and Mrs. Hofer and Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Kaiser keep sending your work home to you. I've seen a lot of nice pictures on Seesaw. I'm, I'm excited. I've had some nice things that your parents have said about you doing music. Parents, if you want to take a video of them doing any of our activity or a picture of them doing it, I'd love to hear and uh, hear from them and see them. And uh, we're going to continue to grow in that. And we're going to do some fun stuff today. So we're going to pray and then we're going to get started. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. I thank you for these boys and girls. I pray you bless them and help them. I pray for Mrs. Prem and Mrs. Um, Hofer and Mrs. Kaiser that you would help them as they teach this class. Help Mrs. Adams as she leads our elementary and Dr. Lindstedt as he leads our school. I pray for our world right now, Lord. We just need you as we get ready to celebrate Easter this week. You are you are conquering king, and we just trust you, and we praise you, and we thank you. We love you, Lord, in your name we ask it. Amen. All right, we are going to go on a little bit of an adventure today. So get ready to hop on our favorite train. Who knows the train's name? I think Ava said it. Finley? Uh, Riley or Riley? Engine, engine number nine. Are you ready? Let me put it up there so we can see it. Um, your pretty teachers. I got to take them down for a second. I'm going to put up engine, engine number nine. There it is. Our favorite train to ride on. Um, let's see if we can do that. We're going to stand in the station first and we're going to go engine, engine number nine. Going down Chicago line. If the train falls off the track, do you want your money back? Are you a train that's standing in the station? What kind of a tempo am I using? Oh, yes. Am I doing it pretty slowly? Engine, engine number nine. Going down Chicago line. If the train falls off the track, do you want your money back? Nice slow tempo. Can we try it the bunny way? Here we go. Engine, engine number nine. Going down Chicago line. If the train falls off the track, do you want your money back? Was that our fast tempo? It sure was. Can you take your train around the room you're in? I'm going to do it too. You get to see the picture and I'm going to go around the room with my fast train. And let's see if by the end of the rhyme we can be back to this spot. Are you ready? Here we go. Engine, engine number nine. Going down Chicago line. If the train falls off the track, do you want your money back? Did you make it? I had to make some pretty uh, fast steps. Or not fast steps. I, stepped through, I kept the tempo the same. But I had to use some big steps because I decided to run over and I had a friend that I was going to grab. So I'm telling you what's happening behind the camera. Good job. Did you make it back to the station? Shh. You may sit down. Good job. Our train, I'm going to leave engine engine number nine behind me right now, and I'm going to scoot up here a little bit. Our train, right now we're, we can't go to the zoo, can we? 
But Mrs. Kelly brought some friends from the zoo and maybe some from the forest too to visit you. Here is one of my friends. I don't know, he might have come and visit us before. Did little squirrel come and visit us before? Maybe. Uh, he's a very cute little friend. And um, he, uh, we like to play a game with him. Have you ever tried to chase a squirrel? You've never chased a squirrel? Oh, he's chased a squirrel, but the kids haven't chased a squirrel. Could they catch you? Oh, he said no. I don't know. Maybe that would be a way to get Mrs. Bauer, uh, uh, get, get um, some exercise to show Mrs. Bauer chasing squirrels. They are pretty fast, aren't they? Oh, he says he is. Um, you know what? We do. We like to play a game, and I wish I had you all here to play it. And it's called Let Us Chase the Squirrel. Oh, he says he likes that one. Let us chase the squirrel up the hickory, down the hickory. Let us chase the squirrel up the hickory tree. Now, the tree is not the top of my head. No. Can you get your little squirrels out? No. If, if you, maybe you have a squirrel at your house, or maybe you're just going to pretend and that's okay. Uh, let's see if you can let your squirrel play the game. We can't play the game in my classroom today, but we can play it with our little squirrels. Can we try it? Let us chase the squirrel up the hickory, down the hickory. Let us chase the squirrel up the hickory tree. Can you stand up with your squirrel? I have another squirrel game I like to do. And it was written for Baby Squirrel's grandpa. Oh, yes, he is an old squirrel. And, but you know what uh, Baby Squirrel said? He won the squirrel hopping contest. How many of you are good hoppers? Show me how you can hop. I think some of you are hopping really, 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 really high. Oh my goodness. I think that um, uh, Kira and and Drake and Tarek, wow, that is some hopping triplets right there. Oh, Jake's mother's, I think he might be hopping the highest right now. I'm not sure. Oh, let's see. Cadence, are you hopping high? Yes, I hope so. Montana and JoJo? Yes, oh, we got a lot of good hoppers. Oh, I have to hop too? That's not that high. Oh, you wanna hop? Oh my goodness, that is some pretty high hopping. I think he needed my help though. Um, he said his grandpa is a really good hopper. He won the hopping contest. Oh, I see Paxton down there hopping, hopping. Hey, can you hop on one foot? Oh yes, how about the other foot? Oh yes, good job. Can you do that, Mr. Squirrel? Oh, we can do something that Mr. Squirrel can't do. Uh, this song goes like this. Hop, old squirrel, idle-dum, idle-dum. Hop, old squirrel, idle-dum dee. Hop, old squirrel, idle-dum, idle-dum. Hop, old squirrel, idle-dum dee. Oh, you did a very nice job on that. Oh, he said his grandpa taught him. Oh, my goodness. Can you... Uh, what kind of a tempo was he hopping to? Watch him again and see what tempo you think he's using. Hop, old squirrel, idle dum, idle dum. Hop, old squirrel, idle dum dee. Hop, old squirrel, idle dum, idle dum. Hop, old squirrel, idle dum dee. What kind? He was going pretty fast. He was making me tired just watching him. Oh. He wants to know if the kids could do it with him. I don't know. This might get to count as your PE, too. Do you think you can hop that fast? Let's see if you can do it with me. Here we go. Hop, old squirrel. Idle dum, idle dum. Hop, old squirrel. Idle dum dee. Hop, old squirrel. Idle dum, idle dum. Hop, old squirrel. Idle dum dee. Oh, my goodness. I think that was great. Were you matching Mr. Squirrel with that fast tempo? Oh, he said he thought it was pretty cool when you did it on one foot. You think you can do it on one foot? Mm, that's a challenge. 
See if you can do it. See if you can stay right in your spot. And we're going to get one foot off the ground and see if we can hop with Mr. Squirrel. Here we go. Hop, old squirrel. Idle dum, idle dum. Hop, old squirrel. Idle dum dee. Hop, old squirrel. Idle dum, idle dum. Hop, old squirrel. Idle dum dee. Oh, did anybody fall over? I hope not. Oh my goodness. Can we switch legs? We don't want to get strong muscles in this leg and not in the other leg. Can we switch legs and see if we can do it with the other leg? Here we go. Hop, old squirrel. Idle dum, idle dum. Hop, old squirrel. Idle dum dee. Hop, old squirrel. Idle dum, idle dum. Hop, old squirrel. Idle dum dee. Mr. Squirrel. You're kind of wearing us out. Oh, he said that's why he came for. He thought you needed some extra exercise today. Wasn't it nice that our little squirrel cave friend came to visit us? Can you guys all say goodbye, Mr. Squirrel? Oh, he says he would like to come back and visit again. Is that okay? Oh, I'm sure they are saying yes. Okay, I'm going to put him back. Well, it sure was nice. Had to put baby squirrel back to sleep because babies have to take lots of naps. It was nice our baby squirrel to come and visit us, but um, I still have some more animal friends that want to visit with us today too. Do you remember earlier this year when we got to go on a bear hunt? Wasn't that fun? Do you remember? And um, oh, bear hunts, you have to be pretty brave, don't you? Sometimes we can get a little frightened. Uh, can you be my echo? Can you sing what I sing? Be my echo. Sing what I sing. You can show mom and dad how we do that. And let's see if we can go and find that bear again. Do you remember? The other day, I met a bear out in the woods. Oh, way out there, the other day I met a bear out in the woods, away out there. Remember how this works? First you echo, 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 and then we do it all together again. Do you remember it? I'm gonna, I was using a very slow tempo. I'm gonna make it a little faster. Let's see if we can tell the whole story. The other day, I met a bear out in the woods, away out there. The other day, I met a bear out in the woods, away out there. I looked at him, he looked at me, I sized up him. He sized up me all together. I looked at him, he looked at me. I sized up him, he sized up me. He said to me, why don't you run? I see you ain't got any gun. He said to me, why don't you run? I see you ain't got any gun. I said to him, that's a good idea. So come on feet, let's up and fleet. I said to him, that's a good idea. So come on feet, let's up and fleet. And so I ran away from there but right behind me was the bear and so I ran away from there but right behind me was the bear oh what do I see ahead of me a great big tree oh glory be Oh, 
what do I see ahead of me? A great big tree, oh glory be. The lowest branch was ten feet up. I'd have to jump and trust my luck. The lowest branch was ten feet up. I'd have to jump and trust my luck. And so I jumped up in the air. But why be, I'm sorry, but I missed that branch. I gave up. Uh, way up there. Sing it together. And so I jumped up in the air. But I missed the branch all way up there. Now don't you fret. And don't you frown. Because I caught that branch on the way back down. Now don't you fret and don't you frown. Cause I cut that branch on the way back down. This is the end. There is no more. Unless I see that bear once more. This is the end. There is no more. Unless I see that bear again once more. Oh my goodness, we went on a bear hunt before and it didn't go so well. Remember, we ran home and got under the covers. This time, we had to jump into a tree. It's not going so well with bears with us. I think this is a very safe bear though, right here. This bear, he's a nice bear. I like him on paper. I like him and I like teddy bears. I don't think I want to probably take home a pet bear, but I sure like teddy bears and I like this bear. And this bear, we're going to use our, did you bring your singing voice? I hope you sang, yes I did. Hopefully you've already been using your singing voice with me. Um, can you sing for me? Did you say, yes, I can. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I'm going to show you the next picture. I want you to sing this with me. Ready? Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see some children looking at me. Children, I hope you're looking at me. I hope you're singing with me. I look very silly if you're just sitting there and I'm doing all this singing. I look silly. I hope you are singing with me. And I miss not really being able to see you. 
I'd rather look into a room full of children than just a camera. But you know what? I'm trusting God. God has a um, God has a purpose for all this time. And like Mrs. Adams said in chapel, the Bible tells us Jesus is the same yesterday, today, forever. We can praise him for that. We can thank him for that. We can sing this song. I'm going to blank this out, and we're going to end with this song that we sing in chapel. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Can you sing it with me? That was a nice slow tempo, wasn't it? Let's do it once with a slow tempo, and then we're going to see if we can do it a little bit faster. Are you ready? Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Mrs. Kelly even messed up with the slow tempo. Do you think I can do it faster? Can you do it faster? Let's try it. Let's try it like this. Beat two. Here we go. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Faster. One, two, three. Here we go, our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. The fastest. Are you ready? Can you race me? Let's go as fast as we can. Beat two. Here we go, our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Did I mess that up? I hope I did it right. Is our God an awesome God? Yes, he made the little squirrel. He made the big bear. He made all of those other creatures we just sang about, and he made you, and he loves you, and so do I. And I'm going to come back with you um, later this week with a special music class for Easter. So be ready. Ask mom and dad. Uh, probably Wednesday or Thursday, look for another video from me, and we'll get to celebrate Easter together in music class. Until then, Keep working hard. I love you. I'm praying for you. Bye, kindergartners.